To be a sentence, you need two ingredients, a subject and a verb. Mary walked. In a sentence, the subject is a doer. Mary is the doer, and the action is a verb, walked. To find a subject, look at the verb and think who or what is doing the action in the sentence. Who walked? Mary. Anastasia searched for her lost diamond in the snow. First, find the verb or the action. Searched. Now ask who or what did the action of searching? Anastasia, you found your subject. You can have more than one person or thing doing the action. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Let's try the verb test. What is the action word? The action word is went. Who went? Jack and Jill. They are both the subject hand in hand of the sentence. Subjects that are joined with and are called compound subjects. Here are some other compound subjects. Hot fudge and vanilla ice cream are the ingredients for my favorite breakfast. Pepperoni and pineapple make tangy pizza toppings. Sometimes you can have even more things in a row acting as a compound subject. Peter, Paul, and Mary sang well together. In that sentence, Peter, Paul, and Mary all sing. So together, they make a great subject of the verb sing. Sometimes a subject is not in the beginning of the sentence. Napping on the porch, the family cat snoozed in the hammock. The action is snoozed. And the cat is doing the snoozing, so cat is a subject. Sometimes there's a whole group of words that act as a subject. There's a difference between the complete subject and the simple subject. The chubby family cat known as Garfield and beloved by millions adores lasagna. In that sentence, don't get confused by the group of words in the complete subject. Use the verb to find the simple subject. The action in the sentence is adores. Who adores? The cat. You found the simple subject.